There were a number of decades where it's thought we didn't have otters here in South Dakota. They were harvested to extinction in the Great Plains. Fur was a very popular commodity. In the late 1990s, the Flandreau Santi Sioux tribe reintroduced otters to South Dakota. Since that time, they've been breeding and um, dispersing across the state, so it's not totally uncommon to see these river otters in particularly eastern South Dakota along the Big Sioux River. Because river otters were extirpated from much of the Great Plains for so long, there is not a lot of information on what kind of habitat river otters use in these systems. Our research is primarily around those questions of what makes great habitat for river otter, and we're hoping by developing these methods further, we'll be able to get a better understanding of where they are in the state, as well as in the future be able to estimate population size to see if they're continuing to expand or if they're starting to contract their distributions again. River otters are notoriously difficult to detect. We're programming cameras to just take photos every single minute of the day. But that does result in a lot of photos. I think we wound up with over three million photos from our last field season. And to be able to actually process three million photos from trail cameras, we need to use artificial intelligence tools to tell us when there is an animal in the frame and when there is not. So we go from having three million photos to maybe 40,000 photos to look through. Still a lot of photos, but a much more manageable number. As a land-grant university, it's part of the mission of South Dakota State University to conduct this kind of research, to investigate the responses of wildlife populations, particularly in these agricultural dominated environments and make sure that we can continue with these healthy ecosystems and that those ecosystems include native species like river otters.